Hi, the video you're about to see is a bunch of clips that I've taken through a whole day from the moment I woke up 5 in the morning all the way to about 11pm at night and it was a long busy day and I just wanted to experiment with my own day and hold myself accountable by having a vlogger watch every step and every move I made from the moment I woke up all the way to the end and really show myself what I can do in a day if I'm held accountable and also to inspire other people who watch this what you can actually get done in a day then to use your full capacity all the way to the end of the day and go through your sort of second wind, your third wind and use those so that you've, you're using every piece of energy you possibly can and be all you possibly can be, do all you possibly can do in a day and the idea behind this all was about something Grant Cardone mentioned about document every minute of your day to see why you're not successful or why you're being successful and then you can track it all minute to minute, hour to hour if you're being documented or recorded all day. So that was kind of the inspiration behind that to document the, the day and really look at it for myself but I'm just sharing it with everyone out here as well so enjoy the video. Hi John, it's Ben here. Okay, I'm just organising my meetings for today. I've got one more message to send to someone in America who's probably asleep because he's only five hours behind. So it's about three in the morning over there. So I'm just going to send him a message to ask him when he's available to meet me. Uh, just tell him I'm, that's me awake and working now so I can plan it in that meeting today. So now that I'm going to put my targets into the to-do list. There's a thing called the A, B, C, D, E method. And A, B, C are basically the priorities. A is like number one priority for that day. B comes secondary and C is third. And then D stands for delegation and E stands for elimination. So that's like eliminate that off your list. And that's a way of prioritizing things. So A becomes your biggest, highest priority, also known as uh, your frog. Some lessons of the day. Um, I did a full day of vlogging. I've had the help from Burren and picked her up at not on time. I was meant to pick her up at 4.55. I got there, I needed my coffee first, so I picked her up at about five past five and then we went for a walk with my dog and 
basically from that moment onwards, which is the start of my routine, is walking the dog after my coffee. Uh, Murren followed me around the whole day. So the reason I'm doing that is to evaluate just what I do in a day, what can be done in a day to show other people what can be done in a day by sharing this video out there and just showing people to quit with their excuses and uh, get up and go for it uh, and just see what you can do in a day. This is uh, now half past nine at night. I'm just back from Toastmasters. I was feeling pretty drained midday, I must admit. Um, I'm on day four of my 66 day challenge of getting up at um, 4.45. I'm, sh I'm struggling. I find it hard, but I've continued. I just got peeped at there for no reason. So, uh, some other things I've picked up on today is that you've always got, no matter how tired you are in the middle of the day, you've always got like a, it's called a second wind, and then you've got a third wind, and that just means that you're, you've got the ability to hit a very rock bottom of your day, and be as tired as I felt today at, at maybe 12 o'clock, um, have another coffee. I'm not saying keep drinking coffees when you're tired. I have two a day. Um, but I have everything in moderation, as the Greeks say. And we're in a traffic jam. How fascinating. Uh, so you've got a third wind, you've got a fourth wind sometimes even, and you can conti continue going uh, if you push yourself enough and again throw away your excusitis the disease of failure keep pushing on remind yourself about your goals and uh, don't basically don't give up because I would feel a lot worse about the end of today how, than how I feel just now I felt like the ability to go and make this video now just after Toastmasters a lot of people would burn out at five o'clock and that would be them done the feet they would put their feet up at the end of the day but you can really you can keep going as far as you want and if you give in to your feelings you end up getting nothing done in the day because you'll feel tired in the morning at no matter what time you're getting up if you've given to that feeling you'll stay in bed and then you'll sleep in and then that's taking hours or half an hour an hour off of your day and slowly but surely you'll start to cut down your day because of your excuses and your feelings or giving in to your feelings you'll have less of a morning less of a night and maybe you'll take a longer lunch and then by that time you've got you've really not done much work at all in the day or not done anything productive or produced anything so a point to you from my lesson of today and seeing what I can do in a full day or in the last couple of weeks in this challenge is push yourself to the max how, t how tall can a tree grow, as uh, Jim Rohn says, how tall can a tree grow? Do you know, Murren? No. As tall as it possibly can. And why do humans not do that? Why do we operate at maybe 20% of our capability rather than using that other 80%? Can you imagine what you can get done by using that other 80% of your capacity? So a tree will grow as tall as it possibly can. Why don't humans do the same? It's because we've got the choice, and our choices in lying in bed in the morning is really what's holding us back, and that's why you feel crap about the end of the day, because you've you've not done all that you possibly can. So that's my message to you, do all you possibly can, every day.